Hi, I'm Kevin, and this is a Kevin's Shop video. Uh, this is a uh, fertilizer spreader that I built for my compact tractor. And um, there are some out there that are uh, available for a Category 1 hitch, which is what my tractor has. But they were just way too big for my uh, small property. So I decided to build one. And what I did is I found this spreader in some trash. And um, I decided to use that, and I built a frame for it to support it. And then I've got this long uh, axle that goes across and, uh, to the two lower points of the three-point hitch. And then I have an upper mount here for the upper uh, adjustable link for the three-point hitch. And the spreader had a control which was mounted up on the handle of the spreader and so what I did is I just moved it down here and built a bracket to support it. And one of the ways that I decided to drive this is I needed some kind of right hand drive for this. And so what I found is there's a tool accessory for a drill that allows you to drill a hole at a 90 degree angle. This is designed to mount onto an electric drill, and I decided to use that because I don't have a lot of load on this. So I uh, attached this uh, right angle um, drive, and then uh, so that it could spin this um, uh, spreader uh, wheel. And then uh, the way I drive this is I have a shaft here coming out, and this is a uh, a bearing that I mount here that can be greased with a grease gun. And then for the drive shaft, I just used a rubber hose and I clamped the hose here on the shaft. And then at this end, I left it loose on this adapter so that if it ever got in a bind or uh, it could spin, this uh, adapter could spin inside this rubber hose. So this is how the tractor drives this spreader is through this rubber shaft, which is just a piece of hose. And then the control that I uh, came up with is I needed something up where I'm driving so that I can turn this on and off uh, when I need to. So I use this, uh, this is a bicycle cable. And I came around and then I fabricated this foot control. And this foot control will mount up on the left side of my tractor and then it allows me to be able to open and close the feed on the spreader. Here's my uh, fertilizer spreader attached to the tractor to the three-point hitch. And then you can see that the um, flexible drive shaft is attached to the PTO output. And then I have uh, this cable control which runs up. And what I've done is I've attached it to, um, there's a little parking brake release here and I've attached it to that with this little set screw. And then I have a control here uh, with my foot so that I can uh, turn on and off the feed of the fertilizer spreader. Side view of the spreader and I'll turn it on to show you the drive. Go ahead and show you this spreader in action.